Hello and welcome to this introduction to uh, transformation by uh, Shear and Stretch. Uh, the keywords will be uh, transformation, shear or sharing, stretch or stretching, uh, invariant line, scale factor and displacement. Okay, now this diagram shows uh, the object in green being transformed by shear parallel to the x-axis. And uh, a few things to note there is that the, the coordinates of the object on the invariant line or the x-axis <coughs> is the same as the coordinates or the values of the parallelogram on the invariant line. So on the invariant line the value of the coordinates of the objects and the um, image do coincide. Okay, and uh, this is called, or sometimes referred to as horizontal sharing, as you can see. The, the y values uh, remain the same for a given point, and the x values do move. On the other hand, we've got um, transformation by stretch, uh, this is perpendicular to the x-axis or the y is equal to zero line or parallel to the y-axis. Again, the coordinates of the object on the infinite line do coincide with the, uh, have the same value as the coordinates of the part of the image on the invariant line that hasn't moved at all. Okay, and again, as I said, this is um, transformation by stretch. Okay, now on this slide, I shall attempt to um, show some of the properties of um, um, transformation by shear and transformation by stretching. Okay, now the green object, the green shape is a square and the area is four square units. The transformed image is a par parallelogram and the area is also four square units because uh, the height is two and the base is two, two times two is four square units. Now for displacement, we measure from the, uh, up from the point in question to the corresponding point on the image. And in this case, it is four. Now the blue line is the uh, perpendicular distance from the invariant line here to the point on the object we, we are considering. So if you divide 4 by 2, you get 2. So the scale factor is 2. Okay, now for stretch, the area of the object is 4 and the area of the image is 8. So, in this case, scale factor is 8 divided by uh, 4, and that gives you 2. Now, for stretch, the displacement doesn't matter so much, because if you look at the uh, a point in the object to the corresponding point on the image, as shown here, um, the displacement is only 2. But, in order to use this to calculate the scale factor, you measure from the invariant line to the position of the corresponding point on the image. And then you then measure from the uh, perpendicular line to the point on the object where the point the, the point the point we're considering on the object, in this case two. So if we divide four by two, you get two, so the scale factor is two. It is important to note how we measure a scale factor uh, on stretch and scale factor in or by shear. For shear, we are looking at the point on the object to a corresponding point on the image. Now, we don't do that on stretch. We measure from the invariant line, in this case, to the corresponding point on the image. I hope that makes 
Okay, on this slide, we now try to use uh, a tri an isosceles triangle to illustrate uh, shear and stretch. Now, one thing you notice is that, the, the, again, as before, the displacement is measured from a point to a corresponding point on the image, in this case BC, and the distance from the invariant line to AB. Now, to find the scale factor, you divide BC, sorry, you divide BC by um, AB. And also note that BC over AB has got some significance because that is the tangent ratio for the angle BAC. So the tangent, the tangent of the ang of the shear angle is also the scale factor. That is important. And again, for shear, we've there's no difference in the area of the object compared to the area of the image. Now the area of the image is we've got two times two divided by two, which is two again. The area plus one times two. Would, that one is going to be 2 times 2 divided by 2 again. So there's no difference in the area of the object and the area of the image. Okay, now for stretch, uh, same thing as before, we we don't look, we don't, you could consider uh, the displacement, but to measure the scale factor, you measure from the invariant line to the corresponding point on the image, and then divide that by the perpendicular line from a point for the, from the point we're considering on the object to the invariant line. So for stretch, we're looking at uh, AC divided by AB. That should give us a scale factor. Whereas for shear, we're looking at BC divided by AB. It is important that you know how these are calculated. Okay, now on this slide, we've now moved the object away from the invariant line, this, the, the x-axis or the, the line y squared to zero. We've now moved from that to the, the line y is equal to one. And you will notice that because we've now, we've now moved away from the x-axis, the, 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 the points that were on the, on the x-axis in the previous slide have not got a value for the image. And this is because um, your displacement is a product of the scale factor and the y value. Now, if y is zero, uh, your scale factor times zero will give you zero. Hence, if, hence the image position did not change. But now we've got the change because we've got a value for y. y is greater than zero this time around, so we've got a value for y for for um, the corresponding points on the image. Okay. Also note that we measure the scale factor by dividing this displacement by the perpendicular distance from the object from the point of the object we're considering, from the point we're considering on the object. Okay, so in this case it's 2 over 1. Also note that the um, the area has not changed even though we moved away from the x-axis. That the area of the square here is 1 and the area of the uh, parallelogram is also 1 because 1 times the base 1 is 1 square unit. Okay, now for the uh, for stretch, we again look at the corresponding uh, corresponding points. Okay, even though the displacement is only one, we do not use that to calculate our scale factor. Instead, we move we measure from the invariant line to the corresponding point on the image, and divide that by the perpendicular distance from the invariant line 
to the point or the object we're considering. In this case, one. So the scale factor is two divided by one, and the answer should be two. Again, note that area is again doubled. So if for, for the image, we've got two square units, and for the object, we've got one square unit. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Right, now this time around, our object is, uh, or part of our object is lodged on the y-axis, or the x is equal to zero. And now, as before, now because x is equal to zero, and y is the invariant line, now the coordinates for the object and the image do coincide because the displacement is uh, a product of uh, the x of x value and the uh, scale factor. And if x is zero, nothing happens. Again, note that the uh, how we calculate the uh, scale factor. We look at the displacement. Uh, for instance, we move from uh, one two to one four. Okay, so displacement is four. Is two. Is displacement is only two units here. Okay, so you divide that. You divide two by the value of the line, the particular line from the infinite line to the point on the object we're considering. So in this case, it's two over one. For stretch, same thing again as previously. Uh, nothing happens on the x on the y-axis because x is zero. The area has doubled because because the, the scale factor is two. Uh, you again you measure from uh, the infinite line to the corresponding point on the image, divide that by the uh, the value from the infinite line to the point of the object we're considering. Okay, so and that's what you've got. Okay, as before, we've now moved our uh, object from the line x equal to zero or y or the y axis to the line x equal to one. Uh, even so, our infinite line is still the y axis. Now, note the, the displacement. We, we move from the point 2, 2 to the point 2, 6. And that gives us a displacement of 4. Now, the perpendicular distance from the invariant line, the y-axis, to the point on the object we're considering is 2. So if you now divide 4 by 2, you should get 2. And the area should still be the same. Okay? Uh, again, for stretch, the, the, the bottom diagram, for stretch, uh, we know the displacement is only 2, but to measure the uh, scale factor, we measure from the invariant line, the perpendicular distance from the invariant line to the corresponding point on the image, and then divide that by the perpendicular distance from the invariant line to the point on the, the point we're considering on the object. So in this case, it'd be 4 divided by 2. And also note that the area is now, uh, you, you divide 2 by 1 and you get 2 as well. Okay. Okay, some exercise for you to try. Now, uh, the triangle uh, with vertices 2, 1, 5, 1, and 5, 3, uh, the, th those points have undergone a transformation to um, 2, 2, 2, 5, 6, 5, 8, respectively. Now, your job is to find out whether this is transformation by shear or by stretch and what the scale factor is. And if it's by shear, can you try and do some exercise for stretch? And if it's by stretch, try and do the same exercise for share. Uh, okay, using the, using the same scale factor and the same invariant line. Hope that makes sense. Okay, some work for you to do. Uh, I've got the two top diagrams are uh, uh, a result of uh, sharing by, uh, sorry, the result of transformation by share. Uh, can you find out what the um, scale factors 
or what the square factors are for both anyway okay and then see if this uh, little uh, formula this, this little equation makes sense now x prime is the value of x uh, for the image and x is the value of x on the object now y is a uh, is a particular distance from the point on the object to the invariant line okay y is the for that distance from the point of the object to the invariant line and for straight similar thing again uh, can you try and find out what the scale factor is all right and then try and see if you can match this here uh, the the new y value is uh, a product of your uh, scale factor a and the uh, value of y on the object. I hope that makes sense.